So we're here with Malcolm Willis. Yeah, Malcolm, is Urschel getting too much publicity for how smart he is? No, he means to win like a Nobel Peace Prize or something like that. Just, you know, I've never met a guy who, who really enjoys to, to do what he does as much as he, as much as he does. You know, we were, we were on a plane ride and he was on his phone playing math games so I was, <laughs> that I didn't even understand. So, it was, I mean, it's, it's, it's great to know a guy like that. You've already gotten your degree, right? Yes. yes. It, but here's a guy who's gotten his master's. Can you even <laughs> fathom that in what, like four years? The amount of the amount of hard work that he had to put into in order to accomplish that goal, you know, it's it's a tremendous it's it's a tremendous goal. It's a tremendous you know honor for him, and you know that that just that just shows his work ethic and you know his determination. And, and when he when he sets his mind to do something, he's going to do it. When people talk about Urschel, it's always the academics, academics, academics. Do do they tend to forget that he's a pretty good football player too? I feel like a lot of people do. I feel like a lot of people talk about the, his academics and masters and this and that but people tend to forget that he was an all Big Ten guard last year you know, and, and, and in order to do that you had to be a pretty good football player in, in, in order to be an all, all, all conference uh, selection and on a serious note after all the criticism Penn State's taken to, uh, about culture and all this stuff I'm not going to hit you with heavy questions but you look at that guy, how much is he yeah, exactly. and the rest of you guys who have all graduated on time, done this thing, you know, how much do you take pride in, you know, no matter what anybody says, you guys are still kind of doing it the right way? Oh, yeah, we take tremendous pride in that, just, just because that, that's the Penn State way. You know, we, we, we come come to Penn State to get a, get a great degree and to win football games. That's that's the main reasons for us to come to Penn State, and that, and that's that's what we're going to continue to do. We're going to continue to, to, to shine the, the correct light on Penn State football and our program, and, and we're just, we're gonna have to, everybody's going to have to accept it. Just, that's, what, that's the truth. That's, that's the honest truth, and that's, that's what people are going to have to learn to accept, even if they don't want to. One last question. If it, it, I think everybody assumes he's the smartest guy on the team, is he? Oh. Hands down. If not, who's, <laughs> Hands who's, down. No, who's number two? Um, um, it's definitely a lot easier this year to just go out and play. I mean, me. Last year. <laughs> you know, John Urschel is getting all this publicity for how smart he is. Is he really that smart of a guy? He really is. To be honest, the smartest guy I've ever met. And, uh, you know, truly, if you're trying to get help with simple math problems it's almost pointless to go to him because he's on such another level yeah that it's just like it's so hard to even understand what the guy's talking about sometimes when it comes to math but you know what off the field he's just just another guy just a regular guy you know? how, how does that translate on the field being in i mean because i think people think offensive linemen they incorrectly think offensive linemen don't have to know a lot but they obviously do don't they yeah, uh, you know, I live with a bunch of offensive linemen, and it's definitely not easy. There's there's a lot of it's things. It's not easy they, living with them, or it's not easy? Both. I'm joking. Both. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, it's not easy for them learning the playbook. And, um, you know, it definitely takes a smart guy to be able to learn the plays and all the different checks. And, you know, when a team comes on a blitz or, you know, they move into, into another spot, their whole blocking scheme can change. So you definitely have to be a smart guy, definitely football savvy to play the position. So. But everybody focuses on that, and how much of how much of a good player he is get, gets lost. And not only that, you know, you see the testing numbers that this guy does. Yeah. It's it's kind of freakish to, to be able to do that. Is that do you think? And I'm, I know I'm kind of spoon feeding that, but is that kind of lost in the translation? What what, te what kind of testing numbers? Oh, I mean like you know bench press, bench press and yeah. that stuff. I mean, he's a great athlete, and you know, the kids obviously blessed with a great brain and, and great um, physical attributes so you know he's I see him walking by now uh, <laughs> you know he, he's just a great guy and uh, you know I really don't it's really surprising that someone can be so smart and so athletic at the same time it, it, I think everybody thinks he's will acknowledge that he's the smartest guy on the team who's number two mm, I'd have to go with myself there so we're here with John Urschel. John, you're getting all this publicity. Is it uncomfortable uh, or do you enjoy it? What's well, it like? You know, I manage. I do all right. The, uh, how much do you think your ability as a football player may be getting lost in all the talk about how smart you are? I think to some degree people forget that I'm a football player. Yeah. And that stands on its own, my talents as a football player. I think people get wrapped up in the, the math, the math genius thing. You know, I, I do play football too. And I'm, 
very serious about it. The uh, Carson was saying that when when people come to you for help mm -hmm. on math stuff, sometimes you're at another plane that you're trying to explain things. Is it difficult to get things across to, to, uh, to guys sometimes? No, or? no. I really try my best to try to explain things in terms that they can understand, and I feel that for the most part, I'm pretty good with that. Especially because you know, I hang out with these football guys all day. Right. So you know, I'm very used to talking to them, communicating with them, and I've been tutoring football players since I got here. There's a perception that offensive linemen don't need to be the smartest people out there, mm -hmm. but uh, obviously I, I think that's wrong. Uh, how, how does that come into play? When you're an offensive lineman, the intelligence quotient, how does that come into play? I think your football IQ definitely helps. Yeah. I mean, if you're a smart guy, you can really look at a defense and pick some things up pre-snap. Just being able to adjust on the fly. I think as an offensive lineman, being intelligent is a must. After this season, mm -hmm. do you have any decisions to make on whether you're going to pursue pro football or do academic stuff, or are you? No, no decision to make. I'll be playing pro football. And how exciting! Happy. How exciting is that? I'm very excited. Very and excited to start the next chapter of my life. One last thing, I'm trying to ask guys. You know, everybody's just conceding that you're the smartest guy on the team. Mm -hmm. Who's who's number two? Number two. I might have to go with Ty Howell. Ty Howell? Very underrated guy. If you ask him, he'll probably say no, but he does a lot better in classes than you think he would, and he's a lot more intelligent than he leads on. A lot of football players get a ton of publicity for their ability to play, but not much for their academics. It almost looks like it's reversed with Urschel. Yes. How, how weird is that yes. for you to see? Yeah, somebody asked me that earlier. That's, a, that's you know, it's... When you have a guy that is such a good student, a lot of times that doesn't always correlate to being a, a, an excellent football player. And here's a guy that's first team all Big Ten uh, guard, which in this conference is a big deal because we've got great offensive linemen in this conference. So he's an excellent football player. Uh, he can play all three inside spots. He could probably go and play tackle for us if we had to do that. And he's going to have a shot to play pro football. And he's a mathematician. So. Uh, no, it's it's true that sometimes his academics are, are are such a big part of his story that you, you overlook the football end of it. And he's a, he's a really good, he's one of our best players. If he's the smartest guy on the team, which I think everybody says, who's number two? Oh God, I don't know. You'd have to ask the players. I, Willis and Carson both claim they were. <laughs> yeah, they probably did. Yeah, they, yeah, they probably did. But no, we've got a, you know, we had, you know, it's funny. Last semester we had uh, 50 guys that had over a 3-0. And, you know, at Penn State, as you know, that's saying a lot. We had 17 guys graduate last, you know, this past May. So we've got a lot of bright guys, you know, different levels of, of, of academic achievement, but uh, a lot of good, tough, smart kids. So when people talk about culture, is that kind of what you point to? That's what you write about. I, I know what type of culture we, that I see there right now. And it's a, it's a uh, you know, a bunch of kids that work hard, that go to class and play good football and, and uh, care about each other. And so that's, that's a fun group of guys to be around.